hello. And yeah, hello lovely people. Um it is weird and interesting how inspiration strikes. It will strike at the strangest times. Right now I'm a little under the weather and it is 107 in the morning. But um, I felt like I needed to make a video to accompany some of my blog posts. So this particular video is about love. And if you are a follower, or if you know me personally, or we've talked, whatever, you will notice that I have been talking a lot about love lately. I have been talking about um, unconditional love and uh, being in your heart, your heart center. So this is, comes as no surprise. But recently, um, oh my God, with everything going on, the new moon on the new day in January, January 1st, new moon in Capricorn, and then the full moon in Cancer, and then Mercury going into retrograde, um, <laughs> this has been a very interesting spiritual time for me. A lot of review, a lot of releasing, a lot of healing, and, um, wow, a lot of growth, a lot, a lot, a lot of growth, and this is how I have been in this state for the last week or so, and, um, topics being on my mind, and that is why I want to talk about this right now, about love, because I am a lover. You know, um, people call me a hopeless romantic, or people say, I am naive, um, I fall too easily, I trust people too much. And I've heard this all my life, and yet there is no way that I would change who I am. I was made this way. And there have been times when I have doubted this. There have been times when I tried to change myself and to put up the walls, to be tough, defensive, not trusting. You know, of course, I've gone through my time where I had a really bad, um, a lot of anger. You know, when I was younger, a teenager, um, a lot of anger. Um, I've had my moments of depression, things like that. But when it still comes to love, the majority, I, I, I was willing to just jump. To jump. And um, so knowing it's about myself and meeting others like me who are just true lovers, unconditional lovers, you know, not afraid to dive in, we often question ourselves when we come across people who reject us, deny us, lie to us, hurt us, you know, this could be friends, this can be lovers, you know, I've had my fair share of um, ex-boyfriends or guys who I have taken time to talk to or whatever, and, you know, they ended up hurting me. Um, because they were not honest, completely honest, or could not resonate or reciprocate and be at the level that I was. You know, for their own reasons, their own issues, okay? So, lovers, we often ask ourselves questions like, why? Why do I love so much? Why am I doing this? Why do I continue to be so vulnerable? Why do I continue to be so good to other people? Why do I continue to trust? They are using my kindness and abusing me. And this is my message for you, for all of you, for me, for all of us. Guess what? This is you. You were put on earth to do exactly what you are doing. You were put here on earth to love, 
we were put here on earth to shine that light, to give that unconditional love. Because guess what? This world is so void of it. This world has so much fear in it. This world, the people have been programmed to react and think and be in fear. People are so afraid. People are just stuck in this perpetual cycle of pain, of anger, bitterness, denial, and they don't want to heal, or maybe they don't know how to heal. No one has been there to show them how, teach them how. No one has been there to show them how to really love, and no one was there to show them how to receive and embrace love. And that is where we come in. We are the lovers. We are the light. We are bearing that Christ consciousness. So stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting your purpose. And knowing that you are this loving being, understand that when these people hurt you, it is not you. Okay? You have to understand that they are going through things and and just know that you have blessed them in some way and continue to love but of course this brings me to the next topic that I will talk about in another post and that will be about protecting yourself setting boundaries knowing how to honor your self-worth your value being able to do this while still being a loving, compassionate being, because we are not supposed to just snuff out our light. But we have to learn to be strong and to honor ourselves and be compassionate, but stand in our truth and speak our truth, okay? And this leads me also to um, the point where I know that I need to go ahead and start blogging about my trip in Italy. If you know me or you follow me, you know that I was in Italy and Europe for a while last year. And um, I ended up going on Charles Virtue's uh, very first Master Intensive course. And it was truly transformative. And... Um, so it's been hard to sit down and find the right time to even write this all out. I mean, I journaled everything, but it's just so intense and it was so much and so beautiful and I needed the right time. And I feel like possibly divine timing is now because of the certain topics that have been coming to my mind to talk about. So with that, um, thank you for listening. Thank you for reading. Thank you for being there and accepting me, and thank you for your love. And um, I just want to say, continue spreading the love, continue spreading your light, continue being you, continue growing. And um, I love all of you. Thank you so much. Namaste.